Now, back to Robin Day. Robin? Yes. Well, we were talking about the advice to be given to the new government, to Mr Heath's new government, in the field of industrial relations and economic policy from Lord Stokes, the boss of British Leyland, and Vic Feather, I won't say boss of the TUC, but the chief man of the TUC. Uh, Mr Feather, what advice do you give to Mr Heath? Because you're going to have to cooperate a lot with the Tory government, whether you like them or not, aren't you? I would say that he should follow the advice that's already been given to him by Sir Paul Chambers, Lord Caton and Lord Stokes. That is to say that whatever he might have thought about industrial relations reform and whatever he might have said about it in the election campaign, that now he's got the responsibility, he must look at this again. And I think that uh, whatever he might have said before the election, as the leader of the opposition, that as the Prime Minister, this might have a different look. And I would think that uh, this would be a matter that he might discuss, as it were, with the TUC, uh, before he starts taking any startling moves towards implementing what I consider to be an impracticable policy called fair deal at work. Uh, come to Howard Webb in just a moment. Uh, but can I just ask you this, uh, Vic? Do you remember saying at a speech, uh, I think it was at the Labour Party conference uh, last year, you said you thought there ought to be a street called June the 18th Street? Would to mark the date on which you uh, uh, made your, had your battle at Downing Street with the Prime Minister? Yeah, it's a very curious coincidence that, that June the 18th, 1969, was when we signed the Solomon Binding undertaking with the June Prime the Minister. Two defeats for Harold Wilson. June the, June the 18th, and no, I wouldn't say a defeat. It was an agreement uh, because he got a good bargain. He put a lot of work on me, quite frankly, as a consequence of that agreement. I think that he got a bargain. I got a lot of work and he got a bargain. Harold June Webb 18th and can June join 18th in here because election. you know a great deal about industrial relations. Well, I don't know whether Vic and Lord Stokes would say they would agree with me, but I think that the one aspect of the Tory policy, the one pledge, I think, on which they might be prepared to bend is on this question of industrial relations. I think the fascinating thing to look forward to, I don't know whether they would agree with me on this, is the Queen's speech. Tory Queen's speech. Are they going to make the whole of industrial relations a priority problem to be tackled? I suspect they're going to spend a year talking to people like Vic Feather and Lord Stokes before they come out with their proposal. I don't know we'll, hear, we'll hear Mr Feather and Lord Stokes in our uh, programme a little later, probably between 5.15 and 6.45, and we'll see what's in the Queen's speech, which of course Mr Heath will write for the opening of Parliament on July the 2nd. Conservatives now have 41 seats.